guys, we're here at the Columbus Zoo and these are with some of our newest addition, our little cheetah cubs. And a lot of people don't realize how involved with conservation um, zoos are. And Columbus Zoo is one that's very involved with conservation, especially cheetah conservation. Um, we raise thousands of dollars for cheetahs in the wild and a lot of people don't realize Cheetahs are the most endangered big cat in Africa with less than 7,500 of these cats. And they have a 90 to 95% infant mortality rate. So 95% of all cheetah cubs born in 2020 will never reach one year of age. And so we're very involved here. And these two cubs that you're looking at are were part of a huge project. And that's where they were part of in vitro fertilization. And so these babies, the eggs came from one of our females, Kabibi, who was a genetically valuable cat, but she's going on seven and a half years old. She's never reproduced cubs before, so it's not likely that she would breed now. And we paired her eggs with a male out of Texas at Fossil Rim, another conservation organization, and with a male that had never bred. And we were able to, to fertilize the eggs here at the Columbus Zoo with the cooperation of the Smithsonian. The scientists came from the Smithsonian. And then we had a perfect surrogate uh, mother here. Her name is Izzy. And Izzy was a three-year-old cheetah that we would never want to reproduce because her genes have been very represented in the cheetah world. And lo and behold, 93 days later, we had these two cubs. Izzy delivered these two cubs. And the significance of that is, you know, if we can continue to, to really fine tune this science, this is something that could help cheetahs in the wild. We could actually um, help the gene pool in the wild because cheetahs are so fragmented in Africa that they live in these pockets dispersed throughout Africa. And so their genes are overrepresented in those pockets. With this science, we might be able to introduce new genes into those areas of Africa and really help strengthen this species as a whole and hopefully cheetahs will be around forever and ever and ever.